Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining quests that you need to be doing in MapleStory. So a lot of these quests are talked about on a day-to-day -day basis, but a lot of people might not know what they do or what they give. I think this video is going to help out a lot of players and also surprise a lot of players on how good these quests actually are and what they offer. A lot of these quests that I'm going to be talking about really do fast track your progression in this game. Some are more useful useful than others but all around these quests genuinely do help players out a ton so the first quest that we're going to be talking about is called threads of fate i'm sure you've heard streamers talk about this quest i'm sure you've heard the term threads of fate in multiple youtube videos threads of fate is a pretty long quest line but one that is mandatory and necessary to do especially in maple story reboot so threads of fate essentially is a quest that is used to obtain the item juniper berry seed oil now you're probably wondering why would i want this thing called juniper berry seed oil you need juniper berry seed oils to make wops and eeps wops and eeps are wealth acquisition potions and exp accumulation potions these are extremely useful when training essentially it offers you two hours of 20 percent miso and drop rate as well as 10 percent exp these pots are essential for your progression in maple story and threads of fate is the easiest and fastest way to get the materials for you to make these potions i'm gonna leave a guide on the threads of fate quest line in the description if you wanted to go ahead and do it but again threads of fate is definitely something that you should be doing especially if you're training this is just gonna help you out so 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 much piggybacking off threads of fate there's a hidden quest that people don't really know about and people honestly still to this day don't talk about this kind of goes off of threads of fate because obviously to make a wop and an eep you need the recipe for wealth acquisition potions and exp accumulation potions so how do you get this recipe a lot of the times people will say just farm kill pink bean horn tail which are viable ways of getting this recipe but one way that i found that is extremely helpful useful and pretty much drops this recipe every single time is gigatoad you guys don't know what gigatoad is it's pretty much a boss in the game that you have to do this little mini quest line which again i will link in the description it's super easy it takes like three minutes it's not even like a quest line it's honestly like a maze or like a party quest i don't know it's like a quest and party quest combined it takes you like two minutes do the little quest line you do the pattern you do the portals and then once you are done with the portals you get to kill the boss now you can do this three times a day but not only does this boss drop exp accumulation potion recipes and wop recipes this also drops a 30 day pet the mr toad pet actually comes with miso magnet item pouch auto buff auto feed and the movement skill already learned this is a 30 day pet and this thing is actually very 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 useful especially if you are a free to play player i would highly recommend doing gigatoad killing gigatoad and hoping that one of these pets drop along with the exp and WAP recipe. This pet is also transferable in the cash shop. So if you play an explorer class or a class that has a bunch of different branches, you can sift this around your account. Really useful, really helpful. And if you're free to play, I highly recommend doing this. This pet is way better than Hard Hilla and is honestly super slept on. I feel like nobody ever talks about this pet. This is like a hidden gem quest. So again, recommend doing this. Very, very, very helpful. Moving on, we have a Treasure John Ring quest line. So Treasure John Ring, what is that you guessed it it is a ring this ring is not best in slot but if you are early game this ring does help out a ton you can potential the ring and later on get miso drop lines on it if you want to the quest line takes like legit three minutes you get a coin you go to the coin shop and you get a ring pretty straightforward very very easy again i will leave a video down in the description if you do want to do this quest moving on from the ring we do have another equipable item quest line now this quest line gives three items that are pretty much best in slot i would say they're best in slot they're permanent the three afterlands totems these totems are very very good very useful essentially gives you 21 total attack and then 20 main stat if you're bored and you want free damage this quest line takes 30 to 40 minutes maybe even less and i really enjoyed this quest line i thought this was probably one of the coolest quest lines in the game the maps were really cool super unique don't just do the quest blindly you have to follow a guide which again is linked in the description it's super simple when you follow the guide and again the quest line 
design is really cool, very unique, and I highly recommend doing it. Now, moving on, we have Phantom Forest. Phantom Forest is a quest line that I would really only do if you are a thief class that uses throwing stars, but if you're an OG player that likes super cool, old, unique items, then I would highly recommend doing this quest as well. Essentially, you have to do dailies to unlock coins. Kind of annoying, but you really only have to do it for a certain amount of time. The shop offers a lot of cool items. If you're into anvils and stuff, like this is something that's really, really cool. These old items, like if you played back in the day, you know what these old items are. Very, very cool, very unique. A lot of people are always curious like where these items come from because in Reboot, obviously you can't buy stuff. This is the shop. Again, really cool, highly recommend. And if you are a throwing star class, this is where people get balanced furies and crystal libbies. You can also get two times and two times drop coupons, but I wouldn't waste your coins on these. Not worth it in my opinion, but if you are down bad for two times, you can come here and buy them. So this quest line is a quest that a lot of people do already know about, but I just want to throw this in here in case there were a few of you who were not familiar. The Princess No quest line. This is a 20 to 30 minute quest line that I highly recommend doing, especially on your main or second main, or even a couple boss meals if you really want to get the damage up. This quest line unlocks the boss called Princess No, and this boss does have the chance to drop the ring known as Kana's Treasure. This is a best in slot ring. It can be start up to 22 stars and does have a pretty high drop rate. Whether you use it for damage gear or you use it for drop gear, it is very, very useful. And I highly recommend getting this quest. Again, it takes like 20 minutes and the guide will be linked down below. <laughs> Lastly, this isn't really a quest. I'm just throwing it in with the quest because it is something that people should be doing. You need to get Meister Accessory Crafting. Why do you need to get Meister Accessory Crafting? For Meister Rings. You guys are unfamiliar with Meister Rings. This is again a best in slot ring. I'm going to tell you why. This ring can be used as a damage ring, can go up to 22 stars, it can be used as a drop ring, but this ring can also and should be used as a fodder for your superior Golux ring. Meister Rings are easily craftable and are very, very, very useful. Anyways, those are the quests that I put together that you absolutely need to be doing in Maple Story Reboot. These quests really do fast track your progression a lot and make the game much more simpler. Yes, they do take a couple hours to complete all of them, but take these quests at your own pace and do them when you feel like you're ready to do them. None of these take more than 30 to 40 minutes. So again, I highly, highly, highly recommend doing these quests. You're not going to regret it, but I hope this video did help you guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. Again, this was not a guide on how to do these quests, rather a guide to show you what quests you should be doing. If you guys are not subscribed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.